Uh, now I'd like to move to our next presenter. Uh, he, she is also the mentee of uh, Professor Randy and Miss Norie Hirai. Norie Hirai. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Um, hi, I'm Maria Hirai, and I'm a mentee in Professor Randy Tolentino's class. Um, today I'll be um uh, presenting my research on a proposed IoT system architecture design for the conditions of elderly to elderly care in Japan. First, um, uh, I would like to introduce myself really quickly. Um, I'm Noria Hirai. I was uh, born and brought up in Japan, and um, therefore, I wanted to focus on a Japanese problem that is of much interest, current, that's of currently much interest, and the elderly population in Japan is swelling, and I wanted to focus on the um, aging society in Japan, which led me to this um, topic. Um, so my abstract, Japan has experienced a rapid increase in the number of the geriatric population in the past few decades. This has raised the necessity of for, for healthcare resources, making IoT applied in elderly care a huge trend in the country. The application of IoT in the field has made a huge contribution to tackling the problem. However, previous studies and current IoT application regarding the topic failed to consider another arising issue elderly to elderly care. Elderly to elderly care is the condition in which a caregiver is also a senior person due to the decrease of the younger population in the country. The paper evaluates prevailing system and re-examining studies conducted on the subjects in the past. Based on the research, this paper proposes an elderly monitoring system architecture for developing IoT application in elderly care satisfactory of this condition. So, Japan, with its remarkable advance in clinical science and technology, has one of the highest life expectancy around the globe. This has driven the rapid growth of elderly care IoT, monitoring systems such as disease monitoring and wearable device and sensors, and developed services such as telemedicine, robotic technology, and ambient assisted living. However, the increase However, the increase in the lifespan has posed a relatively new problem in which the ones that are taking care of the elderly are also elderly people. This situation is called Dorokaigo in Japanese, and I will refer to it as elderly to elderly care throughout this paper, as it describes the simultaneous aging of two groups, the caregivers and care recipients. Um, the Japanese Ministry of Health the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare has reviewed that as much as 59.7% of the houses with a person requiring elderly care are under this elderly to elderly care situation, and 33.1% are in an extreme elderly to elderly care situation in which both caregivers and recipients are over 75 years old. So what causes elderly to elderly care? There are mainly three causes of elderly to elderly care. First, the difference of, between the healthy life expectant, expectancy and actual life expectancy in the country. Although Japan has experienced remarkable growth in its life expectancy, the healthy life expectancy is over 10 years younger than the life, um, actual life expectancy. This necessitates the individuals that started taking care of their parents, spouse, etc., during their 50s to continue taking care of them 10 years later, resulting in an elderly to elderly care situation. The second cause to a segment of, segment of elderly is the unaffordability of elderly care services. Local elderly care services are costly for some elderly families, depriving them of using it. Furthermore, the elderly care services provided by the country do not consider the condition of the elderly caregiver, making it inaccessible for some elderly to elderly care homes that are in need. 
The third cause is the resilience the elderly feels toward asking help from others. Studies show that the elderly in Japan find seeking help from others for elderly care as themselves being irresponsible. This makes them reluctant to ask for help from families living apart due to the duty and gratitude that they feel toward their care patient, propelling them to take all the burdens by themselves. Next, moving on to the problems of elderly to elderly care. They're mainly physical burden and mental burden. This, um, Elderly care requires much physical work, uh, physical, physical work, assistance to walk, change clothes, and bath. Assisting all day is a huge burden for the elderly and leads the caregiver to require care. Uh, mental burden. Um, taking care of elderly people can be very stressful even if you aren't an elderly person. Um, as for the cares in elderly to elderly care, the stressful condition could lead to the caregiver suffering from dementia which also suggests the urgency of this issue. So my objectives. The objectives of this study are as follows. I didn't, um, number one, identify the cause and effects of the current elderly to elderly care and the reason why current systems have failed to solve it. Number two, propose a system architecture that can be easily used by the elderly taking care of their elderly spouse and family. Number three, develop an architecture that provides a physical and mentally healthier life for both the caregiver and care recipients. So next, moving on to my related works. Um, IoT application in elderly care is one of the most popular and growing fields in which IoT is used. Previous studies have focused on monitoring the patient and they pro propose system architecture that connects the patient and medical institution. For example, a study conducted by Bong Jia Cheng et al. and others used the accelerometer to monitor the elderly and detected their falls. The data from this accelerometer is connected to an Internet of Things platform called ThingsSpeak TM. Based on the IOC platform, elderly patients can be remotely monitored as long as the care providers have good Internet access. Another study by David Loza Matobel et al and others developed an, developed an architecture and assistance service for the elderly that integrates home automation and robotic system oriented into interaction. It is a system that is comprised of a local network and web system, which allows the users to monitor themselves and facilitates to recognize what the patient needs at the same time. However, I, as I mentioned earlier, both of these, these systems fails to put the uh, put on um, the elderly caregivers con condition into consideration. So, what my proposed architecture? Before moving on to the actual architecture, I would like to talk about the elderly care current system, the current system of elderly um, elderly care assistance. Um, if an elderly person wants to apply for uh, elderly care. They apply to the service and the elderly care center home visit care in regard of the degree of care is required. However, um, the home visit care does not consider the caregiver's condition. And as I mentioned earlier, elderly care recipients are uh, hesitant to seek for help. Therefore, um, in the elderly to elderly care, a system that lessens the burden of elderly care for caregivers and assists caregivers when care recipients is in critical condition and monitors not only the care recipients, but also the caregivers is needed. Here is the concept of my proposed architecture. Um, the care recipients would put on D3 GPS and RFID tag to monitor their health st status, notify the caregiver of the type of assistance the care recipient need, and allow caregivers to be aware of the care recipient's condition. This information will be sent to the caregiver's device and sent notification and can also be monitored by doctors and nurses in uh, medical institutions. In case of an emergency, 
that the caregiver wouldn't be able to handle on their own, doctors and nurses would take care of the patients immediately. In addition to that, um, this uh, architecture has caregiver monitoring, and from the information sent to the caregiver's device, the amount of time and burden per caregiver is evaluated and monitored by care, care centers. When the caregiver is seen to be overworking, care services center um, would offer a care service for a certain desired period to ensure time for the caregivers to rest. So how is this different from conventional IoT application in elderly care? Here is the flow, flow of the conventional IoT application in elderly care. Um, care devices, devices um, sense the condition of the elderly patient and smart sensors smart and is interpreted by smart sensors and um, trans, transmitted to the connection gateway and stored in the cloud and then um, sent to the smart devices of medical institutions. The proposed architecture, um, in addition to this, uh, using utilizing edge computing, the care, caregiver will be able to uh, monitor the care uh, the elderly care recipients at the same time and also be monitored by elderly care services. Here is the layers of the proposed IoT architecture. There are five layers consistent the architecture. Um, first, the IoT device layer. The device layer consists of three IoT sensors, E3, GPS, and RFID tag. To each, monitor, to each monitor the urinary situate condition, location, and health condition of the patient. These aspects were chosen as they are the biggest source of burden for many caregivers in elderly to elderly care in Japan, according to several papers. Next is the edge computing layer. This system uses edge computing to effectively communicate the data obtained from the source sensor to the cloud. It also allows the caregiver to monitor the patient via a smart device to effectively deliver care to the care recipients without time lag. This contributes to lessening the caregiver's burden in taking care of the elderly. Next is the message broker centralized cloud computing layer. These layers will interpret the data obtained from the devices. The patient monitoring the patient monitoring cloud will interpret and store the data of the care recipients. The caregiver monitoring um, caregiver cloud will interpret and store the data of the caregiver's working conditions. These will be then transmitted to the next and final layer, the application layer. The application layer is the layer in which the medical and medical institutions and elderly care services would monitor the data interpreted in the cloud. This layer will enable the experts to review and evaluate each condition via their smart devices. Here is the flow chart of the uh, proposed architecture. Next, moving on to my results. Um, application of the proposed system. The system should be implemented by both the private sector and public sector to improve the quality of life for the geriatric population. Collaboration of hospitals, care centers, and elderly care centers would be the most efficacious in, the sol in solving the issues, as it will be of less a burden for the elderly users when considering using the service. However, in conditions in which it is difficult for hospitals and elderly care centers to collaborate, the layer fo following the edge computing layer for the unavailable part, either patient monitoring or elderly monitoring, can be removed from to form a system that monitors um, that monitors the available parts of the system. This flexibility of the system. Um, allows for an expeditious force approach that is needed to address the elderly to elderly care issue while leaving room for uh, expansion in the future. Furthermore, monitoring the working hour of and visualizing the status of the caregiver, it can serve as an effective tool in putting the caregiver's condition into consideration in the government sub subsidies for elderly care recipients.
Moving on to my significance of the study. With the rapid increase in the geriatric population, a sustainable society would require a sound infrastructure to support the younger population and the older generation to live their lives independently. An IoT system architecture designed for elderly to elderly care is in high demand and is cap capable of achieving the goal mentioned above. Furthermore, although this architecture is designed for Japan, as elderly to elderly care is a phenomenon that is expected to happen in a wider, wider range of nations in the next few decades. Phase, a leading country needs to serve as a model for the nations to follow. And that's my conclusion. Um, focusing on the cause and effects of elderly to elderly care and what demands current IoT application in the field fails to meet, this paper has proposed a system architecture that allows care centers to support elderly caregivers when needed by employing edge computing and multi-layer IoT system. It is a combination of conventional technology which suggests the feasibility of the system. In addition, um, as, this paper, as this paper stated the importance of focusing not only in the patient but also in the caregivers, um, I believe that it will serve as um, a model in future studies. Finally, um, Further study is necessary to conduct an experiment to test the effectiveness of the system and examine the problem and improvement point of the problem. This system will open a prospective future for the life of the elderly in Japan, as elderly to elderly care is among the issues that the country has to solve with its utmost interests. As the burden on the elderly, care, elderly caregivers lessened by the appropriate assistance from elderly care centers, it will not only prevent tragic events such as suicide caused by stress, but will also promote the health of the caregiver and enhance the quality of time spent together with the care recipients. Finally, here's my references. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think it's uh, quite, uh, you know, it will be a very useful, you know, technique for our future. Thank you. And do you have any question to Ms. Nuria's presentation? Or any comments? So don't be shy. Okay, Professor Rendy, would you please? I'll just give a short comment about Nadia's. Despite the fact that you have a long, you only have 15 weeks, 15 weeks of meetings, uh, one of the best idea that I got actually, this is what I learned from Nadia, is her, uh, her critical thinking skills with regards to what is happening in her surrounding. It is really good that Japan is, with regards to technology is also advanced as Korea, but still there are some areas in our society that still needs attention with regards to, most especially for the elders. And if you notice her idea regarding how to apply this technology, IOT technology, with regards to elderly to elderly is for me, it's really very good idea because in the future, this is one of the topic that a lot of researchers will talk about. This is also one, just for the information of everyone. I've been here in Korea for almost 15 years. And I think one of the issues right now, one of the issues that Korean society is trying to address also is elderly to elderly problem. So Noreed, your study is really good because this will be the basis in the future. This is one of the basis in the future that people all over the world will think about how to deal with these elders who are taking good care of elders and how to apply this new technology in order to uh, address their needs at the same time to prolong their life, right? Because they want to stay with their family. So it depends on the culture. In Korean culture, in Japanese culture, of course, we need to send the, the, the elders to home for the aged. But in other countries, just like in the Philippines, we usually 
tell our parents to stay with us and take good care of them. But again, this is a good idea, Noria. Very good, good job. Thank you very much, Professor.